Welcome home, burglar. letting a terribly expensive bottle of Pinot Grigio breathe before breakfast and pondering all the possibilities that come with having my very own cake boy. Oh, yes, cake mania. The cakes I force you to make will only be half as sweet as the satisfaction of taking you down. I hope your thumbs are ready. I hear the talk. You believe all your own hype, don't you? The next big thing. Do you know what that phrase is usually used for? The next big thing? For trends and fads. And just like every dance or app or song fad that came before you, when the history books are written, your name will be forgotten. You act as if you're breaking the shackles of tradition. Well, unlike you, friendo, I'm smart enough to know that it's not shackles. It's the foundation of this very sport. And what happens when the foundation of a house crumbles, inevitably, it falls down upon you. And as you lay there, crushed underneath the weight of your own bad decisions, gasping for air, hopefully as uncomfortable as possible, you're going to ask yourself, why? Why didn't I listen to Mr. Ace? And you'll look up for any glimmer of hope. And you'll just see Mr. Sullivan laughing maniacally. Before he lays down on you vengeance and destruction the likes of which you could not even begin to fathom. All at my behest. And on that day, I want you to remember the names of the men who took away your livelihood. The names that will go down in history. We are the cult of tradition. And together, we are one thumb. Yes, hello, thumb wrestling fans and fans of Cake Mania and of the sweet and spicy feature in a brand of lost and the dominant tag team of the NDWA. I am on my way to singles competition in a Slaughter Beach, Delaware. This is my travel journal uh, for you out there to uh, ride along with a Cake Mania for the day and see what uh, things I get up to. Mostly just the driving and listening to records. I have a record player in the back seat. It's a hooked in to the seat. It's very high tech, honey. Don't worry about it. Uh, and, and mostly I just uh, ride around, listen to records, think of reasons that the real housewife of Slaughter Beach, Delaware, the poopoo doo doo idiot thumb wrestler, and uh, sometimes I stop to pee. But anyway, let's get to it, uh, okay? 
read on the internet that the way that the Slaughter Beach, Delaware got its name was that uh, sometimes, uh, uh, very often in fact, uh, horseshoe crabs will come out of uh, the ocean, honey, and just die everywhere in Slaughter Beach because they would rather die than be in the same place as the real housewife of Slaughter Beach, Delaware. They come on the uh, beach and they say, oh, what is that terrible smell? Surprise is real housewife and they die. I bet she wishes her whores, you crabs, would wash up and die. <laughs> Mania. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I also read that uh, the whole city of a Slaughter Beach, Delaware only has a uh, total area of 1.3 miles. And I tell you what, I know from a fact on it, I live 1.1 miles from a Jimmy John's and they will not deliver to my house. That's how they guarantee freaky fast delivery, which is a scam if you're asking me, honey. But anyway, uh, the, the whole area of a Slaughter Beach, Delaware is... Uh, uh, all is slightly larger than uh, Jimmy John's delivery. Uh, you can't even uh, get a Jimmy John's sandwich delivered in the poo doo doo idiot town like a Slaughter Beach, Delaware. So put that in your JJBLT, Brock Luzner. <laughs> oh, cake mania. That 207 people live there, but 206 of them are aware that one citizen in particular is covering up a bit of gray, honey, okay, with the Miss Clairol or whatever. Honey, don't do that. The gray makes you look distinguished, okay? It distinguishes you from everybody who's under 40. <laughs> oh, cake mania. Oh, you rapascallion boy, I tell you what. I would tell the real housewife of Slaughter Beach, Delaware to act her age, but she might die. Oh, hello. You need a cake baked for you. The real housewife of Slaughter Beach, Delaware is so dusty, she looked like her daddy's name was Clayton Fardo. <laughs> Oh, kick media, you made a joke from the television show Dallas from the 1980s decade. <laughs> Dusty Farno died in a plane crash and I brought him back to life. <laughs> oh, Dallas. <laughs> I am on my way to a Slaughter Beach, Delaware, and it is a very boring drive, honey, I tell you that. But when I get there, it will not be so boring. There will not be a moment to rest. There will not be a moment to catch your breath or take your pills or drink your wine or whatever it is you got to do, honey, because you're going to be baking wild from the moment my feet have kissed the ground in Delaware State of America. Honey!
left. Mad cow! Mad cow, we're almost out of meat sticks! Hello? Hello? Mad cow? Louie? Louie? I know you're up to something. Mad cow doesn't have this type of creativity. Make yourself at home. You're going to be here a while. <laughs> I'm back. I do not like the sound of this. And who are you? Didn't I tell you? Didn't I try to warn you that there would be no safe port in this storm? And now as you sink to the bottom of this proverbial ocean, the waves are too far over your head for you to call for help or even hope for it. Take a last glimpse at the light. I'm the Thumb Monarch! <laughs> I don't think you are. Let's see those thumbs! The American has many sons and many sons has the American and I am one of them and so are you so let's just I need to brush my teeth. How's Louie? 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 <laughs> How's Louie? <laughs>